after several months of fundraising by the events management program and hard work by the Many Hands construction students, Reveal Day is finally here. Our original goal was $20,000 and we far exceeded that goal. As you heard here today, we raised over $42,000, so it was an incredible year. And how did you do that? So the event management students, we planned and executed four very successful events this year. Uh, we've been planning them since the start of school. That's actually a part of our curriculum at Niagara College. And through their efforts involving the community through sponsorships and partnerships, we were able to meet our goals. How are you feeling today, Kathy, now that the reveal is finally here? I'm feeling really good. It's almost surreal just standing in the space. I was one of the original students who had come for the selection for the recipients. Uh, so I was here when the carpentry workshop was still standing. It's great to see it come to life and just to see everything that the construction students have done. It's truly incredible. Now, Mary Jane, you have been here watching while these students have worked. How did it go? The progress from just three months ago is absolutely spectacular. From going from one big room to two separate rooms is, is phenomenal. Uh, I think most of all our patients will be benefiting through, through this, but the, the students have been amazing and accommodating and professional um, and truly uh, indicative of what Niagara College is and what they teach, so we're, we're very grateful. Now you've got an extra $10,000. What are you going to do with that? The $10,000 will be spent very wisely, but uh, we have a lot of plans that we'd like to do. Um, we have, we'd like to put a booth in so patients can transfer in and out and sort of learn those skills so when they do go to a restaurant after having um, a traumatic incident that they'll be comfortable in doing that with their family and friends. Uh, we'll be putting in a meat counter so that our patients will be reaching in and learning how to reach in with either a walker or a prosthetic leg. Um, we'll be putting in a flower shop, so more of um, indicative of what a marketplace truly is and those features that will help them learn the skills they need to go back to living their everyday life. Now doing a project like this, teamwork must be very important. How was your team? Uh, really good and it is everything. Uh, we come out on a Friday morning with uh, two professors and over the course of the day approximately 30 students working and if you have 30 people working on a job site it's a busy hectic uh, very active place and everyone has to work together or it's not going to work and you're saying they did yes yes well we got to the finish line so something must have gone okay yeah yeah they did well part of the goal of this uh, program is to teach and to learn a sense of social responsibilities in a world that seems increasingly cynical it's very exciting that you see the celebration, the sense of students knowing that it's important to give back to their community and to marshal the skills and knowledge uh, of a signature program and make this happen uh, is very, very celebration. So it's a great day today on a beautiful spring day here in Niagara to reveal this marketplace at Hotel Du is uh, really great. And you can see the excitement on everyone's uh, face today, particularly the students. Congratulations to all those involved in the 20th annual Many Hands Project at the Hotel Du Shaver. In St. Catharines, I'm Brenda Schultz reporting for The Source.